Good morning, people. Welcome to Digging the Ghost 365. We're running late today. This is so unlike me. It is, what time is it? Uh, 8.50 a.m. And I'm never, I never sleep in this long. But last night, did you just fall then? But last night, I couldn't get an internet signal, and I still can't get one. I'm trying to upload yesterday's video. Couldn't do it. Um, the only place it, set, it says you can do it in the library lounge or something in the hotel. So I went in there and they've got uh, they've got uh, oh, music. This what is it? The Samaritans or something? Samaritans with brass bands playing Christmas music. <laughs> And then coming round with a collection, I had to put a pound in that. And then uh, there was a, like a comedian woman singer on. She was quite good actually. And swimline would be ridiculed. The sports day was quite fun. A swimming running tag of war. I simply always won. At the end of the day, I didn't get the video uploaded, so a complete waste of time. I think it was half past eleven before I got got in here. Um, it's now, as I say, quarter to nine. I need to get out of here because today, picking up my car, I've got to go down, rush my breakfast, and go get my car, and I think. I think we're doing some kind of off-roading. I don't even know what it is. See you there. I don't feel I told you the whole story about last night. Um, I've just been out for my breakfast and a woman came up to me, she says, uh, did you finish the bottle last night? And it reminded me I had quite a lot of Baileys last night. I've started drinking Baileys for some reason. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe it's because I've got old. I don't know, I just don't... Beer and me just aren't mixing very well at the moment. I, I'm not drinking much anyway, to be honest with you. But I've started drinking Baileys like a girl. Baileys is a bit of a girl's drink. Uh, double Baileys with ice. And I had quite a few last night. And somebody just reminded me when I went for breakfast. Never mind, uh, I'm, I'm feeling fine. Time to go. What do I need? Charger. I'd better take my very warm woolly top just in case it gets cold. But I don't think it will. That's it. Oh, and my laptop. Try and upload yesterday's video. Let's do this. Let's go pick up the Dana car. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying because I'm in a Land Rover from 1969 and it's quite noisy. We're off off-roading. I've never done this before. Salisbury Plain, it's where the army train or something. But look at this, just look at this vehicle. It's unbelievable. Okay, we're at Salisbury, 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 Salisbury Plain, there's a gang of us, and we've got three Land Rovers, um, we've got the worst one by the look of it, to be <laughs> honest with you, um, we're doing some off-roading, I don't even know what off-roading is, what's off-roading? Getting stuck in Land Rovers mainly. Getting stuck in Land Rovers, so we're going to get stuck in Land Rovers, I'm going to be driving this thing, and I'm dreading it to be honest with you, <laughs> it's even got, look at this, look at this, you've got to see this. It's got moss growing out of the window, look. That's how run down it is. And if you lift the seat up in the middle, 
it says make sure you haven't got anything loose in your pockets and there's a reason for that because it just goes straight down to the, the ground it's ridiculous but it moves it moves it actually moves very well we'll just nearly run a deer over um yeah let's do this whoa <laughs> It look quite easy don't they? You know, I've been asked if I want to have a go but not at that, I can't do that. It's too steep, it's too steep. Right, my turn now. Time to look cool and hard. Keep your thumbs out. Keep your thumbs out. So that's how you off-road like a professional. This dog stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's rolled in some dog muck and it stinks. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Okay, so that was off-roading. Had a good time. Thank you very much, guys. Really Welcome. appreciate it. Uh, about my car, my car's all fixed and serviced and stuff. Uh, it's got a new hairy wheel on it, hasn't it? It has, yeah. The wheel uh, is freshly hairy now. Courtesy of who? Of Melcham Tire Suppliers of Melcham. Melcham Tire Suppliers, thank you very much. And they did some... They did the alignment. alignment. So Melcham Tire They made it straight. And yep. they give me an airy tyre. Thank you very much. Everyone get yourself to Melchum Tyres. Best tyres in the world. Anyone else? Uh, Motorquip have provided the service items and the uh, parts to fix it. Yep. So thank you very Motor much. Motorquip. Motorquip. Motor Honestly, Motorquip is the best company in the world. Get yourselves down there as well. <laughs> and, I keep forgetting the name of the place. Broad Lane Land Rovers. Broad Lane Land Rovers, if you need your Land Rover fixing, get in touch with Mark because he's an absolute star yep. and he's sorted me out on this trip. Absolutely, there'll be a link in the description. There will be a link in the description, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of my day, guys. Uh, I've got a three hour drive back, so I'm not going to do any more filming today. So, that's the end of Digging the Course 365 for today. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>